So how did we get started internationally? Fastnet had already been opening branches for years, moving from state to state. So we were accustomed to going to new jurisdictions. We just weren't accustomed to going to a new country. It started with tapping a few district managers on the shoulder and saying, could you open some branches for us in Southern Ontario? From there, we, we did some simple things. As any other new business, we started to approach customers. We asked them if there's ways we could help. We also asked them how they did things so we could learn from not only our local new employees, but also from established companies in the area. At the time of recording this video, we're just over $5 billion in annual revenue. So when I look out to that $10 billion organization, I see no reason why Fastnet International won't be 20 to 25% of that number. And when I look to that future Fast organization and the international component, one thing that I know is true is that we will find success in every country because of the success we found in others. And what I mean by that is a strong international footprint will allow us to be more successful in the countries we're in, as well as the countries we're going to, because our customers are in both of those markets. And they love something special we bring to their local needs, and they want us to be able to do it in more and more places. So in a, in a demanding world, what does it require to find global success? To me is the fact that I can make a promise to you and I can make a commitment to my customer that regardless of the location, you will find somebody that's wearing a blue shirt that's trustworthy, helpful, and will bring value to the business. To the Fastenal Blue Team around the planet, thank you for joining our team and thank you for allowing us to be part of yours.